I found gold using primitive technology. It's actually working. Yes, we did it. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I have proven in a previous video you do not need traditional mining equipment to find some gold. So today, I'm going to challenge that even further by finding gold using nothing but my bare hands or primitive technology. Let's go. I'm not going to lie. Showing up with no equipment was very weird, but kind of nice. I must admit, whoa, hiking with no gear is actually kind of nice. So this is one of my gold claims where I have found a lot of gold here before, but because I don't have any equipment with me, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna have to first find a location that's most likely to have gold. So packed gravel, sort of like this, or fractured bedrock like this. This is gonna be fun. Now, because I don't have a pick to break any bedrock or loosen any gravel, I'm literally just gonna have to use my fingers or anything else I could find naturally. So if you don't already know, gold is a very heavy metal and it's always wanting to sink to the deepest spot and that's why a gold pan works so well. You pan off the lighter material, which eventually reveals the gold at the very bottom. So my plan is to use the same process, but with my bare hands. All right, so I got myself a little bit of material and we're gonna hand pan this literally to see if this is an option. It's important that your feet do not not get wet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it would work. Metal is super heavy. And if there's metal in here, you could you could find gold. All right, final reveal. Let's see if we have gold. <laughs> I don't see anything. So, I mean, there's black sand, so it does work. But if we can find an easier way to find gold than using your hand, that's the best option. But we're not giving up till we find at least one piece of gold. All right, this is where I dug it from and we're just gonna get another scoop and try that <laughs> Okay, pan or hand number two I'm gonna use two hands this time <laughs> Get the material out It's all in my fingers. Check out this hand. I realized that using your hands takes significantly longer than using an actual pan. But I am stubborn, so I'm gonna give this a few more tries. So you have the the gold filled material in the cracks of your hand. You gotta put it over your other hand and drop it in so it goes to that thing, bottom hand. Now I do know this method works, but after several attempts, it was time for another option. So obviously your hand isn't the best way to find gold. I feel like you still can and I'm not gonna give up doing it, but I noticed there's a divot right here in the bedrock. I just kind of moved everything out, but that divot gave me an idea. What if we can make a gold pan? It doesn't need to be great, it just needs to have a divot. So if I find bedrock, oh, like this, perfect. Something flat like this. All I would need to do is sort of just carve a little bit of a divot, kind of like the bedrock there, and we'll have ourselves a pan. So now we just need the right stone. We gotta find something kind of like sandstone. Everything's pretty soft, but it's, I know we can find something around. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. If anybody was around to see exactly what that looked like, they would have thought I was trying to imitate a T-Rex. So we have a rock. It's pretty coarse and it's, uh, it should do the trick. Yeah. So what I'm going to start doing first is called pecking. Now pecking is what you do before you start grinding because grinding will take way too long. By pecking, you're making a whole bunch of little dents inside the area you want to work and then it makes it easier to grind. And pecking and grinding was what the First Nations used to do to make axes, fishing weights, and all sorts of other hard stones. That's ah, loud! The pecking process has officially begun. This is going to take a long time, so I've sped it up just a bit. I should be wearing eye protection, but back in the primal days, they didn't have eye protection. Uh, oh. Maybe I won't use pecking, I'll just grind. Oh, I have an idea. To hopefully make grinding go quick. What happened? You're upside down. 
To help make grinding go quicker, I'm just gonna add some sand. Dinner is served. For this piece, I'm gonna be very careful and take my time because I do not wanna waste any more time breaking anything else. Haha, <laughs> it's working. We are slowly getting a little divot, unless I was there naturally. But no, we are making a little bit of a mark. That is good. Mole sand. So once I channeled my inner primal craftsman, I was able to design and craft the perfect divot for our stone gold pan. I'm actually really excited to give this a shot. So because shale has lots of layers to it and is obviously fairly weak, I'm doing light pecking, but what I'm doing is digging down deeper near the center, and as I go outwards, I go lighter and lighter. So it creates that bit of an angle. I do that at around so that I, I kind of make the shape of the bowl, and then I go in with the sand, and then I just start grinding to make it a bit more smooth. So this is our product so far. Now again, it's taken a really long time to get this far, but now, as you can see, there's a bit of a divot in there, which I think is enough to go panning with. We're gonna find out. So I'm just gonna start in our little, ow, prickly. So I'm just gonna start in our little hole here because there is packed material in here. And if I could avoid a lot of work, I will. Let's just start with that. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but this feels so cool. Pan number, uh, shale number one. I guess I kind of feel like I was born to be a caveman. I gotta keep the circles very small because it's not a deep hole. <laughs> I'm actually going to be super stoked if this works. Okay, let's try another pan. Now I could go a little deeper than this, but I'm a little afraid that I'm going to break it. So that was about 40 minutes of work and I don't want to restart that. But we'll do a handful more pans just to see what we're going to get. Now I could go search for other areas to dig from, but I figured since there's already material sitting open here, it's just going to save time. So I'm just going to stick to this spot. I gotta be careful. I can't take too much either. I really feel like I have to make this a bit deeper because I can't really even shake it without it spreading everywhere. So I'm just having a quick break here while I think about my life's choices, but I just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys watching this video. I started Pioneer Poly out of depression and anxiety and whatnot, and if it weren't for you guys watching and showing your support, I wouldn't be here today. So I just want to say thank you. So during my break, I spent more time working on the pan by pecking, grinding, and talking to fish. Hi, fish! But eventually, I was satisfied with the outcome. Oh, look at that. Clearly, that looks a lot better. It's starting to look like an actual gold pan now. Let's put it to the test. I'm gonna do two scoops because I'm dangerous. All right, moment of tooth. As long as the heavy material stays in that bowl, we have a chance. Oh, it's working way better. As you can see, everything's actually staying in that center bowl. That is what we want. Now, honestly, it's just a matter of finding a piece of gold in the handfuls that I bring to the, to the bedrock here. No gold, but it's working! It's actually working! I brought a plate of dirt so I didn't have to keep walking back and forth. You can call me a pioneer or a genius if you want, but this is actually so satisfying to do. I may not replace my gold pan with this rock, but this is definitely giving me some more ideas. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> it's exciting! Just one piece, baby. Yeah! Yes, we did it! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is too funny. Right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that actually makes me so happy. I don't know why, but I mean, 
That took a long time to do. I just realized something. How am I gonna get that gold out? <laughs> I mean, back in those primitive days, they I don't really think they were looking for gold, but if they were... So as excited as I am that we found that little piece of fly poop, we have another problem, which is, how do we get it? Like, where do we put it? I got, I got nothing. What I did was peck another little hole on another piece of shale, and then I quickly grind it smooth so we have another little hole. And then all that's left is you transfer your gold from here into that little hole right there. Then you can take this piece all the way home and then deal with it there. Here at Pioneer Poly, we're all about solutions. So here's a quick tip for you guys. You need a dry finger to move wet gold. You need a wet finger to move dry gold. So that is wet. You gotta make sure your finger is dry. You just touch it once, and there it is on your finger and then you just put it in there. <laughs> I'm so happy! So I spent the next hour or so taking my time panning bit by bit, trying to accumulate enough gold to be able to trade for a real gold pan. And fortunately for me, I believe I found enough to retire. All right, so it's been a while. It's been a long while. But I'm gonna show you the gold we found so far. Ta-da! <laughs> That's just so funny. Now, I did have a fourth piece, but I was using this stick here to move it back into the circle and I, and I flicked it and I'm probably never gonna find it again. But either way, that is gold from a rock. Now, I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Oh yeah, I haven't just been panning. I've been working on another little project, a sluice box. I know, it doesn't look like much at all, but there are two riffles in here that I have created from pecking, grinding, and more grinding. You can sort of see a riffle right there, and then we have another one right here. But it does actually work, check this out. Kinda, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, I, I kinda admit that it's not the best sluice, but I mean, I, in my defense, I've never really sluiced before because it's illegal here in BC. You can't tell me that this rock is gonna be illegal. I'm gonna keep working at it, and I'll get the angles and everything just right, but Hopefully by the end of the day, we will find a piece of gold using a rock sluice. Being out here is already super peaceful, but using stones to craft and potentially find gold makes today so much more special. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can definitely see myself creating more videos like this in the future. So after an hour, I finally came up with a solution, a concept, an idea that it's going to make a big difference. I put two rocks on it. What this is doing is just creating a little bit more of a low pressure zone behind the rocks here that should maybe fix it. I also adjusted the angle just a little bit, so let's keep trying. I know what you're thinking. This is ridiculous and looks stupid and it's definitely not going to work, but I... Wait, yeah, I don't know. I am so positive that this will eventually work. The gold is so heavy that it's just gonna drop out of the dirt here. It's just gonna sit right on that bedrock. I mean, I don't think it's my sluicing. I think it's my uh, spot. I don't think my spot has much gold. <laughs> Food, sir? So, I have put a lot of material through that rock sluice and I cannot find a single piece of fly poop. Now, I know my design isn't perfect, it's my first time creating a rock sluice, but if you think you can create better equipment using nature stuff, please make that video, I would love to see it. Let's see some rock pans, rock sluices, tree dredges, whatever you can, it'd be sweet to see on YouTube. But anyways, I'm gonna get one more plate of material to run through that rock sluice, and if I don't find anything, hopefully I will, but if I don't find anything, I'm gonna risk one of those other pieces of gold that I found earlier by putting it in there and to prove to you guys that it's not gonna go anywhere. So yeah, I'm still using the same spot, and that's only because I know there's gold in here because we were finding it earlier. So it is probably just my design I made on my sluice box that I worked so hard making.
a big problem that I'm already seeing is that there is no black sand. There's nothing that's being trapped in here. So I'm only relying on a heavy piece of gold to get stuck to be able to sit on there, but I don't know. <laughs> this is fun either way. I want ice cream. Ah. So clearly I'm not finding any gold in the sluice. That's either A, because there's no gold in the material I'm putting through the sluice, B, the sluice just sucks, or C, the sluice sucks. So what I'm gonna do is just grab one of our pieces of gold that I securely secured in here. Oh, come on. This guy. And then drop this piece in the sluice to show you guys that if I were to find gold using that rock sluice, it would capture the gold. All right, so here is our piece of gold. I'm gonna drop it in here, and I'll show you that it'll, it'll catch it. Oh. It just floated off. <laughs> okay, I had a feeling it would not stick to this, but I had no idea it would just float away. That, that, was, <laughs> that was a bad example. Okay, take two. I have another piece of gold, but this time, this piece is wet. So a wet piece of gold, the last one was dry. Haha! <laughs> right there. Yeah, baby! Woo! My design works. There. Captured. So yeah, the only reason why that first piece of gold floated off was because it was dry. And that's why it's important to use jet dry or any kind of soap when you're cleaning up lots of gold. And so it doesn't float away. But nonetheless, this is the gold that we found using primitive technology. Not bad at all. So not only did I prove again that you do not need conventional mining equipment to find gold, but you don't need any equipment. Unfortunately, this gold isn't enough to weigh, but we found gold using rocks, so it was a success. <laughs>